Would you be okay with losing all your data? With losing everything on your computer? Would you be okay if I deleted everything on your computer right now? See, a lot of people I know, when I ask them the first question, they'll say, well, I don't have anything important on my computer. When I ask them the second question, they'll go, actually, no, that wouldn't be good. And I often get a different answer than I did from the first. This video is a little different than a lot of my other videos. Um, but if you're watching this video, then by definition, the information I'm going to share with you applies to you. So if you haven't heard, there's been this massive cyber attack. It was on a global scale. And uh, you may have seen the word ransomware being thrown around. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain in as basic terms as possible what ransomware is, how you can protect yourself from it, um, a pretty much foolproof method that should protect you from any form of ransomware. Alright, so the first thing is, what is ransomware? Um, think of it this way. Let's have this sentence. This is a sentence. And uh, what the ransomware does is, let's just pretend this is a sentence in a document on your computer. And what the ransomware is going to do is, without you even noticing, is it's going to mix it up uh, in, in what's called encryption. Now, so here you can see, basically, the words just flipped around the order chain. So this is a basic form of encryption, um, but what computers use is much more advanced. You can't just look at it and figure out what it was originally. It's not something like that. In fact, it mixes up the letters so much that you can't even tell what's a document and what's a picture. Um, it just messes up everything, not just documents, but pictures and video and everything. And it's not just something you can figure out on your own. So what the ransomware does without you even noticing is it encrypts the documents like I showed in that quick example there, uh, but on a much more sophisticated scale in a way that you can't just figure it out. There's no realistic way to unscramble all the characters. And basically your data is locked up. So then your computer stops working and it comes up with a message and it says pay us a lot of money and then we'll uh, unscramble all your stuff for you or tell you how to do it. And most of the time that's just a scam because even if you pay them, why would they? The criminals, whoever made the ransomware probably, or it's a government agency. Now let's get into how to protect yourself. Now the big thing here is you want to have a backup of everything on your computer. So I have my laptop right here, right? And I want to have a backup on something else. So I forgot where I was. I had to go get this, a little prop for the video. This is an external hard drive. All right, so I can take it here. I can plug it into my laptop just like this. All right, so if you've never seen one of these before, and what I can then do is copy everything that's here onto here. And so that's something I want to do. Uh, I actually do it hourly. It's automatic. Um, and I'll include links in the description so how you can do this on a Mac or a PC or whatever computer you have. Or you can do it manually on a weekly schedule or something like that. The point is when this ransomware scrambles up all the information on my laptop, I have another copy of it on here. And it's not going to mess up this copy because it's separate from my laptop. And so that's the absolutely foolproof way to protect yourself from ransomware. If regular people did this, um, ransomware would pretty much never be a problem because once you, the information in your computer is scrambled, that doesn't mean that your computer is broken forever. It just means that you delete the scrambled information and then you copy the information from this drive onto there and you're back where you start. Or should I say back where you were before the ransomware. And of course you can do other things like checking your email and antivirus programs and stuff like that. And that will all help. Um, but this is the ultimate way to protect yourself from ransomware. I didn't say all bad stuff, viruses, malware, whatever. This is a ransomware solution. And in this specific case, the ransomware only affected Windows computers, but if they had those computers up to date with the latest software as of March of this year, 
that would have also protected them from the ransomware because the vulnerability was patched. But not everybody does that. So, again, external hard drive. This thing, you know, they're so cheap now. It costs like, you can get one for well under 50 bucks. And if you don't want to spend the 40 30 maybe 50 if you get a pretty big one, dollars on an external hard, hard drive, Remember, you don't need the gaming one. Of course, if you go to Best Buy, they're going to automatically recommend the one that costs $5,000. But that's beside the point. And if, but if you don't want to buy one of these uh, external hard drives for a couple dozen bucks, just buy a flash drive. You can literally buy them for like $1.99 at Micro Center. And then you can copy a few important documents or files, uh, maybe a video or two depending on what size you get onto that. And even if you don't think so, I can pretty much guarantee you that your computer has something on it that you do not want to lose. So I hope this video helped. Again, it, it was a very brief overview of this very complicated topic. I'm just trying to cram a whole bunch of information into one video that everyone can understand. Uh, but if you have any questions, any more technical questions, or any, uh, actually, if you have any advice um, any of you experts out there have any advice, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And uh, we'll be back to regular scheduled programming in the next six days or so.